Good morning, Monday the 31st of July and a new week, end of the month and this is my trade plan for today. Um, first thing I do every morning is check for any news and we've got nothing at 8.30 um, so all we've got is some news at 9.45 and 10.30 today so there's two out of five on the important scale. So Chicago PMI at 9.45, Dallas Fed Manufacturing Index at 10.30. So keep an, keep an eye on those times. So moving into the MES or the ES chart, this is the one hour time frame. Um, I've put a few levels up, which I'm watching for today. So we're looking quite bullish today. And I'm just analyzing my levels as I talk. So we've broken, what have we done? We've broken this double top almost, this, this area here which was a potential rejection area if we were looking for a treble top. Um, so what I'm looking for really is a break and retest long. And I've got a few levels for long today. So I've got 46.19 as a potential long, this, this area here. Hopefully we don't break it in the pre-market and I'll be watching for it when the market opens. So I want it to break and long. If we miss that, or first of all, if we do get that um, retest long, then we've got a potential first target of 46.23 to 46.24, basically tops of these before we saw that massive rejection on Thursday. So, and then obviously I'll be watching for confirmation and maybe a, another break and retest to retest this area up here at 46.34, and that's this double pivot we've had here before we had that big big sell off. So these are my longs basically. Um, we've got 46.19, 46.23 area, and then a target or rejection area of 46.34.50 area, 46.36 area. So that's what I'm watching for. If we do push down a bit today, we have a potential rejection, um, a bounce area of 46.08 to 46.06, this area here. It's an area I've marked up as an area of convergence as well, where bops. Top, tops and bottoms of candles meet each other and then if we break down further we'll be looking at 4600 as a psychological number and a potential bounce area we saw that area bounce on Friday and we might see another double bottom come down to there and obviously we've, we've held it as support and resistance over previous weeks and then if we do see a big breakdown then if we break down below the 46 under then maybe a break and retest short and but bearing in mind we are trending up nicely at the moment and so really my bias really wants to be long bias rather than short bias so to recap on the ES or the MES chart I've got potential longs at 4600 46.06 area 46.12.50 it's an area we've been watching for a while and you can see we've had areas where it got close to it. 46.19, 46.20, and 46.22. So they're the areas I'm watching for potential bounces, and I'll play by ear. I'll, I'll watch the five minute chart as well to see whether I've seen any setups. Um, if we reject this area, it might be nice, and, or reject this area, it could be a scalp um, rejection. So, but the scalps, if you're going against the trend, should be smaller size, and any any um, trades with the play with the trend should be your normal size well that's how I'm trading it now because I used to go full size in with my scalps and then don't trust my my levels for a bounce and go in half size so I stop out full size for my scalps and stop out or get in half size and my P&L just doesn't add up very well so for that reason I'm going to be um, um, scalping half sizes only with a very tight stop and anything with the trend will be a full size position um, because obviously I want to capitalize on the strong trend rather than going against the tide every time. So that's the MES chart. Let's go over to the SPY. Um, similar setups to the MES. Um, we've got this rejection area up here at 44, sorry, 459, 50, 55, 459 area. So that's an area for a potential rejection. Again, if we're strong, then you want to watch for confirmation because you might break through and push up. So maybe a break and retest long. Um, we potentially got 
this area here, 458 to 458.50 for a scalp rejection only or a break and retest and we're coming right into the area now. 458.10 is another area I'm watching which is this area just below here and that's why I wanted to catch a break um, long for. And we've got a bounce area off of this 50 moving average at 456.20 area, 456 area. In fact, this is now no longer supply, it's now demand. And then if we do break down, we've got the bottoms of these pivots and this area of 454.50 has a potential bounce or strong breakdown, break and retest. But the real bounce area, what, what I'll be waiting for will be when we come back down to this area again here. So it'll be 451.50 area for a bounce. And, but we've got the 200 moving average nearby as well. So that's why I favour probably this zone for a potential west clear that up this area for a potential bounce first because in theory the, the 200 moving average would have caught up so that's it really rejection wise there's only one real rejection and this is this double double top and tail top here at 459 to 459.55 anything else is scalp so be careful and we're looking at bounces for the rest of the time and going with the trend quick look at Q's and Nasdaq while we're here so the Nasdaq or the NQ which is which is the um, futures version for, of Q's. So I've got a few levels drawn in. In fact, there's this level up here as well. So we've got this top top rejection at 16. Oh, look at that, 1600, a big round number as well. So keep an eye on 1600 for a potential bounce, which should be about that area there. If it if we do break through 16,000, then we've got 16,000 and 62 for a top rejection we saw we, we rejected it quite hard last time came straight back down and that's when we saw that sell off um then we're watching we're up these levels similar to spy we've got this head and shoulders pattern over here and then we bounced off the top of the shoulder there a couple times it looks like we're going to break through so we're looking really for 60 15 900 um bounce and reject and let's just see what that looks like on the queues. Yes, yeah, so on the queues, we can easy to say numbers as well. It's um three eighty four area. So this is the tops of the shot of this head and shoulders pattern we had here, and we've got this we've got this um, double bottom, but it's rising higher low, higher lows and higher highs, but we're just getting ready here so we're probably just eating away at the clock before we see it break out and go long so we haven't quite broken friday's high yet but we're very close to it in fact friday's high was the post market high it was um thursday's high as well thursday friday's high so that big strong candle there as well so we're, we're probably gonna looks like we're gonna break out over this so our next potential area for rejection would be 387, well 388 area, that's the area watching up here. So that's the queues, again, very similar positions. And if we're if we're coming back down, um, we're selling off, then we've got these areas to keep an eye on 378.22 and 374.30 for potential bounces. And we've got this area of which is now let's change the colour to this. This is now a supply of a demand zone. So 370 area as well. That will be a nice um, long if we get back down that far. Okay, that's it really. Um, hopefully you have a good day trading. And remember, tra trade the trend. Take care.